Yeah. TTG. What's up, y'all? Um, Tori the Great TV coming to y'all again. Um, this time on a on a more serious note. Um, I've been thinking about recording this video for a while now, and um, um, I think part of it. I mean, there's a lot of things that's ringing in my head. Um, I think whenever you choose to stand for something. Um, I think, yeah, that there's a fear that can happen. There's a, you know, um, who are you to talk about this or who are you to, you know, um, or, you know, people questioning your motives and different things like that. Um, I mean, and, and not even, and, and not even to give off the presumption that this video is just going to really going to hit like that or anything like that. Um, but for anyone who sees this video, um, I just want to be known as a man that is throwing off um, patriarchy, um, constantly, constantly working to throw off um, patriarchy, uh, misogyny. Um, well, to not only throw off, but to stop participating in um but um because massage because patriarchy and misogyny works just like white supremacy another video for another time um but um i want to talk about black women um a few months ago um ari lennox um had, had went on live um because i think they had I think her and I think Tiana Taylor had like went viral or something like that because people were making fun of um, their features, um, talking about their noses and their, you know, I, well, I think it was mainly their noses, um, but their lips, their facial structure and different things like that. Um, and actually comparing them to animals. Um, and that type of behavior is very heartbreaking. Um, to be a public figure uh, just because your music is popular and you have people that are equating you to an animal. And what's even worse is they're doing that because of your skin color and because they don't respect you. Because they don't respect black women. Um... Relating black women to dogs um, is a means of their destruction. That's point blank. Um, and I say that because when I when I heard of when I when I heard about this happening. It just, it immediately made me think, um, immediately made me think, y'all like, know um, um, in world history and in, um, what what is it, world history in, in high school and college, you know, you really get to learn about, um, you get to learn even deeper about like World War II and shit like that. And it made, it made me immediately think about um, that specific lesson because Hitler, in order for him to be able to brainwash people into destroying the Jews, he had to make them he had to make them seem as not only less human, but as evil. So he put out this propaganda, you know, put out these caricatures of Jew of Jewish people who have these big noses and, you know, money flying out of their pockets. And, you know, and so it's like you feed this propaganda to people who have never really spent time with a person who is Jewish. Um, or some of them may have and had a bad experience or whatever, or just, you know, feel some type of way um, about these people. And, you know, and then this propaganda serves to make them seem to be just these big nosed, greedy people. Um, and so the, and so with that, and so with people having that view, therefore it made it okay 
to some people, to a lot of people, for the Jews to be destroyed. Same way with slavery. Black people were seen as automatically less, seen as barbarians, seen as we saw them with the we saw what Europeans did to the Indians, saw them as savages. And so therefore it it wasn't wrong for them to be as to, it wasn't wrong for them to be enslaved. It wasn't wrong for them to be killed. It wasn't wrong for them to be massacred because this person is lower than me and I want what they have and I'm going to take advantage of that. Um, and so in the same way, when you when when you equate when you equate a, 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 a not not only not only a person but a woman to a dog, a dog is a dog is someone that that has to listen to you. A dog is someone that you feed with a bowl on the floor. A dog is someone who you may go outside for a minute because they getting on your nerves. We're create we're 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 equating black women to dogs now. Um we're okay with publicly degrading and disrespecting black women. When you think about the whole Gail King situation. Um, be critical of Gail. To some people, yes, Kobe was a hero. At the end of the day, we still don't know what happened in that hotel room. But that didn't have to be brought up when he died. At least not immediately. I don't know. There's 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 various opinions on that. I won't really get into it. I say, I mean, I will say this. I say that we need to, we need to really let, allow people the opportunity to redeem themselves. I remember I had a conversation with my brother, um, with my brother who, who has helped me, who has taught me a lot. He taught me a lot about like other people and like different subcultures, different lives. Like he, he went to, he went to a, he went to an art school and so he met a lot of different types of people. Um, and um, he helped me, you know, to kind of throw off some of my prejudices and shit like that. Um, well, I mean, and we're not even necessarily prejudices because I've always loved people, but I think just just wrong thoughts, you know, um, you know, wrong thoughts and ideas that have been perpetuated. Um, and, and I was talking to him about like cancel culture and shit like that. And he was like, well, the first thing you got to look at is, is the person actually still doing it? Like, that's the difference between, that's the difference between, that's the difference with R. Kelly is that the nigga won't admit the shit. The nigga claims to be innocent of everything. And it's like, bro, how? But that's another video as well. We're going to talk about that, too. We're going to get into R. Kelly and, and what they did to Aaliyah. And I, and you know what? I watched Romeo Must Die the other day. I mean, yesterday. And I will never forgive that shit. Like, you could just, you could just tell, like, the, by the energy that somebody gives off. Like, I could just, I could just feel and I could be totally wrong because at the end of the day, I never met her. But I could just feel that Aaliyah was just a great person. A real personality and just a, a, a overall warm hearted person. That girl, they never had no beef with nobody. That girl made amazing music. Um, Yeah. But anyway, I digress. Um, It's like be critical of Gail. Be critical of Gail. You know, we all feel how we feel about Kobe. Um, be critical of her. Should she have brought that up? You know, whatever. You can ask all kind of questions, all types of questions about that. Center on what she did. 
But for her to be called the name that she was called by Snoop, and I think Snoop th and I think Snoop knew that, and I think because Snoop truly loves women, and he and his and probably his wife and his mama got in his ass, it was like, bro, you need to you need to chill out. Um, now, I mean, does his, because he did that, does his love, I think it's that his love for women needs to mature as all of, a lot of men, most men. I mean, there are some, some men who just may genuinely just not like women and have things against them and shit like that. But for those of us who actually do even still, you know, that love can, can, can really needs to mature, really needs to grow up. And it's like, you have, you have, I mean, women already are constantly judged for their features, their hair, um, their, you know, I mean, just their, their anger, emotions, um, how they raise their children, their sexuality. So it's like black women get it two ways. They automatically are judged because of, they're automatically, you know, well, for one, they're black. So there's that. And the fact that, you know, racism. Um, and then number two, they're women. Patriarchy is a thing. As much as we try to lie and say it isn't, or, you know, try to hide it or whatever. Patriarchy is definitely a thing. And they they both work on society in very um, insidious ways. And also ways that aren't that aren't really obvious. To people who decide to be in, to the to people who decide to be ignorant. Y'all catch that? Yeah. Anyway. We talked about features, their hair. I'm gonna put a clip. Of, I'm gonna put a clip at the end of this um, that I was talking to my friend, um, and uh, I actually got to get both of my friends on my channel. Um, but um, one of my, one of my friends, one of my best friends, one of my two best friends, um, is a black woman, and um, I just asked her, you know, just just to, you know. Kind of, I mean, well, kind of sort of being cheeky. I mean, well, not really cheeky. I mean, just like, you know what? I want to get some footage. I want to ask an interesting question. Let's go. So I just asked her. I was like, what do you think is one of the biggest issues facing black women today? Um, and she said, she said, having to deal with the criticism of their hair. And just how... It's constantly, you know, you have men that you have you have some men that don't like natural black hair and will talk about it and say it's nappy or it's kinky or I don't like froze or whatever. And then so then you have but then if they get their hair too straight or if they get, you know, or if they get their hair straight and period, then they're trying to be European. They're trying to be white women. They wear wigs and it's like, no, where are your real, where are your real hair? Where's your real hair at? Where, you know, why you always got this weave in? You got tracks missing. You got, you know. And a lot of times it's a, it's a nigga who hairline look like this saying the shit. And, um. And it's just so crazy because it's like a lot of times we don't we don't we don't know what's going on or to or really give a damn. It could just I mean, it could be that, yeah, she just don't want to wear her real hair out. She just like wearing wigs. And that's perfectly fine. She could be a black woman with alopecia. 
she could be a black woman who had parents who didn't know how to treat her hair. So therefore she doesn't have much and she still wants to look good. She could be a black woman who's been abused. And therefore can no longer grow hair because her scalp has been damaged. I've heard all kinds of shit. You have black women that have been burned, um, beaten. Now, I, and I mean, I'm not gonna lie, like me, myself, I've said things on my Facebook, um, and I mean, it's all jokes at the end of the day. It's all jokes. Like I've said, like, I think I made a, I made a status one time and said, okay, if you ask me to put on a different shirt, can I ask you to put on a different wig? You know, um, just, I mean, just little quips like that. But as far as like my actual real opinion, I don't care. I mean, if you with me, like, I want it to look good, you know, like, I mean, I definitely, because I know you're going to have some things for me, like, you're going to, you know, want my shit lined up and all this other stuff. So, you know, I mean, we all got our stuff, but it's like, yeah, in a general sense, like, but if it don't look good to me, I don't, but I mean, there's the kicker. I don't have to say anything. You don't have to say anything. You could choose to just be quiet. Y'all do know that, right? Men, y'all do know that, right? You could just choose to shut the f up and not say nothing. Anyway, but, um, but yeah. Um... I think I'm sorry, y'all. I have I had this. I, I I wrote down some talking points because if 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 I didn't have these, I'd be off on. I'd be talking about you know weather in Nebraska by now, and <laughs> I'm serious. Anyway, um, their features, their hair, their perceived anger. Um, we were, we were watching an episode of Insecurity the other day. And was just how about black women and, and, and like they, they choose to talk about like they um, chose to talk, well, chose to inject the issue of black women in the workplace and just how, how there's this, this fear of being too angry or this fear of, you know, how you're being perceived and different things like that. Because you're constantly being judged because you're expected to act a certain way because they believe certain things about you based on your skin color. Um, how they raise their children. Constant comments about how their children are raised. How they raising up the kids. And most black men are either in jail, dead, or unconcerned. Or too childish. And will be bitter. I've seen where I've seen where um uh was a kid actually um, like two or three siblings. They had like worked for their dad. And the dad at one point didn't give them like, it took them a minute to give them their final, their final checks for the summer. Um, so not only is this money late, when he finally does give it to him, he takes out what he owes 
and child support. I, I follow a lot of women on social media um, and I and I get I, I hear stories all the time just just evil stories and it's all just because society has been set up for men to be able to show their ass. Their sexuality. I'm going to say this. Um, there's a lot of things that could be said about this. Um, but I mean, the hypersexuality, hypersexualization of black women needs to stop. All of them don't want to fuck 24-7. There's women of all races who do want to fuck 24-7. Shit is stupid. Um, OnlyFans. Um, I think... And actually, and this isn't just for black women. This is for, for women in general, sex workers in general. I think men are just mad. I think that men are angry. Sex work is the only work in which women actually make more than men. The only work. And men are mad just because a woman can be born a certain way. Born with certain features. That a lot of men will like. And will pay to see. Just mad, bro. I can't be mad. I'm too busy enjoying the show. Anyway. Um, and so they have, I mean, black women constantly have to come up under all of this fire. And black women are most likely. Black women are the ethnic are the the group of women most likely to die from childbirth. Black women are the most likely of women to die from heart disease, breast cancer. And it's not because their immune systems or bodies are just inferior. But it's just because of the simple need for access to health care. And for doctors who actually listen. Um, I think that this starts in house. Ari Lennox on her live when she was talking about how she feels to be constantly judged for her looks like this. As a black woman said that she just wishes that a black man would speak out. Well, I talk about a lot of shit and about 50% of the time it's some shit that's actually important. Um, and so I definitely wanted this to be part of that portion. And it starts in house. Black men, we got to do it first. Because a lot of times we are the perpetrators. We talk about our women all the time and rarely do anything to uplift them. Constantly take and never give, or give seldomly. And I'm speaking to myself. I'm using my front camera. I'm looking at myself right in the eyes. I say this shit because it's true. And somehow we think we, we, we 
somehow we believe that we can truly love our mothers and our, and our sisters and our daughters, but treat other women just, but treat other black women just terrible. Black men, how do we do that? Make it make sense. We need to start sticking up for black women in the workplace, in public. I remember I had a friend that told me about how she, she worked at a restaurant. She used to be a server. Um, and there were some, you know, some white coworkers that had said, you know, had, I think it was like a joking comment, but it was some racist shit. And a black coworker, a black male coworker was right there, said nothing. Said nothing. Um, at, we need to stick up for them at work, in public. Um, we need to stop and come against all public and private disrespect to black women, period. It's not cool. It's definitely not cool in public because it's like, because it's like, it's like, it's like you have other people looking at us. It's like, look at how they treat their women. So why would I treat, why would I treat their women any better than they treat them? And then private as well. We need to stop, we need to stop beating our women. We need to stop verbally abusing our women. Um, there's, I think there's really a healing that needs to happen between black men and women. I think black men, we come under so much fire through racism and white supremacy. And we bring that back. We bring all that frustration, we bring all that pain and we lash out and we take it out on our own women. And it's, it's very dangerous. We're destroying our own. Um, even when I've fallen out with women, anytime, anytime I fall out with a woman, there's still, I mean, at, at worst, at worst it may get is I throw some jokes because she said some shit. Like there was a girl I was I was trying to talk to. She tried to talk about she tried to tell she tried to talk about my stomach, how my stomach was fat. I'm like, yours is almost to your knees, baby. Don't let's let's not. Um, um don't don't our involvement together is none of y'all business. So that's that's what is it? Uh what is it? Auntie um Oh, oh my lady, uh, uh, she's a vegan. I need to say her name. Um, she said the way she the, she says that's my business. Um, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I think um, but yeah, there's no text message that you'll ever find, you know, of me, you know, calling a girl out her name or anything like that, because there's still a, there's still that level of respect that's there. It's like, even though you may be doing me wrong or whatever, and, and see, the thing is, is some people will be like, okay, well, what if they say it to you first? Well, see, the thing is, is this, is that in my entire relationship with them, I've maintained a level of respect. So they never feel the need to go there with me like that. Because they know that I'm not going to go there with them like that. They don't they don't feel the need to to call me out my name or anything like that. Because I've never I've only respected them the whole time. So, um, 
I just, I want us to, I want us to really come together. I want us to stop. I want black people to be conscious of what's going on. And when you see these things and you know that they're wrong to actually speak out, whether it's in the comment section, whether you make a video or whether you want to share this video, whatever the hell you got to do. And it's specifically black men. We need to rise up. We need to say something. We need to protect our own. It is scientifically proven that black people were the first people on this planet. The African, the African, the black person, the oldest remains were found in Africa. So that means that the black woman was the first woman on this planet. And she should be revered. And yet she is continuously disrespected. And treated like trash. What did Beyonce said when you, I mean, people have been saying it, but it's like when you, when you hurt me, you hurt yourself. When you hurt me, you destroy yourself. It's still taking me some time to completely learn all the connections with that, but it makes sense. How can I say I love my mother and my sister? Sisters. And I treat other black women just because they aren't my family like crap. Anyway, um, know that I say this because I love y'all. Um, know that I say this because I want I want y'all I want anybody who hasn't thought about this to really start to think and to really start to take action. And I hope that this can at least be the catalyst for someone some black man out there to continue this on so that we can all come together. And so that as we, as black men learn to treat our women properly, other men will learn to treat their women properly. And therefore all men treat all women properly. I love y'all. Thank you. Oh, one more thing. I want to, I want this to be, you know, I want, you know, to have discussion about this. Um, I especially want to hear from black women, black, every, I want every black woman in this, in who sees this video to, um, to, you know, leave some kind of comment to add to the conversation to, you know, or to, you know, ask me a question, whatever, um, I want to continue this conversation because there'll probably be more videos um, about this. Um, but yeah, um, leave your, oh, leave your experiences in the comments. Tell me some more of your stories. Um, yeah, I mean, tell me some more stories. I want to hear experiences because I, because I want to, I'm probably going to make another, I probably will make another video in the comment section below, you know, tell me your experiences or you can email me. You can email me at TeraTheGreat at gmail.com um, and tell me your stories. Um, I want to hear. Um, and um, I, I mean, of course, so you can keep them anonymous or whatever. Um, but I really want um, I really want people to know. So I really want black men to know. That we we need to we need to love on our black women. We need to protect them. Um, we need to do all we can for him. Thank y'all. You said the hair, you said, okay. So you said, so, okay, wait, so you were serious. Mm -hmm. 
So okay, so I just asked the 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 most pressing issue for the black woman today, and she said their hair. Um. So why why do you say that? Because it's constantly being policed all the time. You know, if it's not done, oh, you in the natural girls, you like a little nappy. If it is straight, oh, you, you know, you like it silky straight and you use relaxer. If you wear a bonnet, you get talked about. But Becky can come to class with a messy bun. When you do it, it's not cute. It looks a little blank. It looks a little weird. I feel like black women are also always told to wear their hair. And we don't wear styles because we don't have hair, but it protects our natural hair. But, you know, it doesn't matter. You can even see celebrities getting bullied for it. Even like Ari Lennox wears her own hair all the time and Snoop Dogg said, or you yeah. can wear your own hair. Or if you do see girls who have natural hair, it's like, okay. <laughs> and that's funny because it's like, well, I, what was I? I think I was uh, listening to, um, I was listening to The Read. Uh, podcast and they was talking about how it was like it just is it was even more crazy because it's like Ari Lennox like always wears like her always. natural hair and it's like okay Snoop Dogg you say that about that and it's not just Snoop Dogg a lot of people do it mm-hmm. even in regular life but it's like you have a black daughter so true and they wear weave yeah. white boy definitely wears weave and another thing straight hair and blonde is not a European straight Black people will have like you know the gene where they actually produce different eye colors, different hair colors. It's oh not yeah, like the E gene or whatever it's called, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's like, black people with, like blonde hair and blue eyes. Yeah, it's not that we tell y'all to not wear box braids because it's, it's actually not good for your hair. Like, it's mm-hmm. not that we you know, or your copper or whatever. It's really not good for your hair. Also, too, braids are very sacred. Like slaves would like, you know, hide food in their braids and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just. It's really important. It's a culture thing. When they like, they would like make maps and shit. Mm-hmm. So special. Mm-hmm. But you can't use the argument of, of that that hair of being blonde or blue eyes or whatever. Nah. Yeah. And I think even well, even just speaking to Ari Lennox, like just like thinking about the whole like. Just where, yeah, like black women are constantly made fun of for their like facial features and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's I don't know. It's, well, I mean, it's terrible for one. I mean, it's <laughs> definitely like, but I mean, it all plays into like, because I was just thinking about it and it just crossed my mind. Like, it's the same shit they used to do. Well, because it's like, because in order to, in order to destroy, in order like. In order to like make it okay to destroy another person in front of other people is like you have to take down the character of that person or make that person seem like less than human. So Mm -hmm. it's like getting compared to like dogs and, Mm -hmm. you know, different things like that. And it's just like, yeah, because it's the same thing. It's like, like I remember learning, like learning about like, political like propaganda and stuff when they used to like um uh, like draw like when the germans like draw people with like draw uh jewish people with, like huge noses and yeah. different things like that um but yeah it's just like black women always it's always some kind of animal and then um it's associated it's not an animal it's associated with some like something that's like manly or mm-hmm. you know Aggressive. Yeah. yeah.